It can be really embarrassing to get caught flat-footed when one of your competitors changes their pricing. On the other hand, it's a major pain to have to manually go look through every single pricing page every week or every month and update your internal understanding of what your competitors cost. But it turns out that AI can do this for you automatically. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a simple AI agent that reviews your competitors' pricing pages as often as you want it to, daily, weekly, monthly, and then updates your own internal spreadsheet that keeps track of their pricing. Let's dive in and I'll show you how to build it. So first, the setup starts with a simple Google Sheet and I'll link in the description below to a template of this sheet that you can just grab for yourself. Um, but in the first column, you're gonna include the URLs of the pricing pages of all of your competitors. And in the second column, you're gonna have a summary of their pricing. Now, let me show you how to build the workflow in Relay.app. First, for the trigger, we're gonna start with a scheduled trigger because we want this workflow to run regularly, daily, weekly, or monthly. And we're gonna start with a batch of runs because we wanna kick off a run for each individual row in that spreadsheet. Let me show you how to set it up. So you're gonna press add trigger, then scheduled, which is the third option down in the trigger menu. And then we wanna start multiple runs on a schedule, one for each row in our spreadsheet. And to select the spreadsheet, you can select Google Sheets, rows and then you can pick the sheet that you want to use in this case we're going to use competitor pricing which is the third one there in our entry and every time this workflow triggers we want to run every single row and you can see here a preview of all the rows we have in those competitor urls now that we have our trigger set up the next step is to scrape the latest information from that pricing page and then extract the key information from it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, in the add step menu, type in scrape text from website. And the URL I'm gonna add is the pricing URL from that spreadsheet row. Then after I scrape the raw text from the website, I wanna do some AI processing of that to get down to a summary of pricing. So I'm gonna make another AI step. I'm gonna press the plus button. And then in the add a step menu, I'm gonna select AI, prompt any model. And I'm gonna say, given the raw text of a pricing page, please include a, or please output a detailed summary of that product's pricing plans. I'm gonna attach the web content, which is the scraped result from the previous step. And for the output, text is just fine. Now, and I can, oh, let me actually rename that step to make it a little easier to read. Um, extract summary of pricing information. Now I'm going to do different things in two cases. If this is the first time I'm ever running this analysis, I'm just going to stick that summary right into the spreadsheet. If I've run this analysis before, I'm going to ask for another AI step to compare the results of the previous summary with this summary. Let me show you how to build that path. So first, I'm gonna add a new step. I'm gonna type path. And the first, first path is no existing pricing summary. And the rule that's gonna drive us into that path is if the rows pricing summary is empty. And if the rows pricing summary is empty, all we need to do is add this new pricing summary we just got into that row. And the way we're gonna do that is with an update row step, Google Sheets, update row. It's gonna reference the row in the spreadsheet that triggered this workflow. And the field that's gonna update is pricing summary. And we're gonna put in the output of the AI step from step three, AI output. So now it's the, if it's the very first time we're running this analysis, it's gonna automatically stick that summary into the spreadsheet. Now let's do the other case. And this is the case where we're gonna check for changes. And in this case, we're gonna have another AI step that looks at the summary we've already got in the sheet, looks at the summary that we just scraped off the website, and it's gonna tell us if there's anything substantially different between the two. So we're gonna add another AI step. In the AI submenu, we're gonna select prompt any model, and we're gonna say, please review these two summaries of pricing information and output A, whether they are substantially different, and B, 
what the differences are. We're going to attach two things now. We're going to attach the summary of pricing information that we just pulled off the website, and we're going to attach the original pricing summary from the spreadsheet row. And the output we want in this case is a structured output because we want to have this yes, no, Boolean variable of whether they're different, and then a text explanation of what the differences are. And if you press generate from prompt, the AI is usually pretty good based on your prompt of figuring out what structured output you want. So in this case, it says, yep, exactly. Are the prices substantially different? And what are the differences? In this case, it spit it out as a list, but in this case, uh, I can just have it as a single single text field. So I'm going to get a Boolean. Are they substantially different? And then a list of the differences. And I'll rename this step to compare pricing summary. Now, I need one more path, which is what am I going to do based on whether it's different or whether it's the same? So if it's the same, uh, so let's do a path. Path A is same. <laughs> and uh, the rule that's going to govern this path is are substantially different is no. They're not substantially different. And in this case, I don't need to do anything. I can just end the run. If they are different, I want to do two things. I want to update the row in the spreadsheet with the new thing. And I also want to send a Slack message that's like, hey, competitor changed their pricing. Here's a summary of what changed. So let me do those two in sequence. First, I'm going to update the row. And I'm going to do another update row step. <clears throat> update the row that triggered this workflow. The field I'm going to update is the pricing summary. And I'm going to put in the newly extracted uh, pricing summary. Then last but not least, I'm going to send a Slack message. I'm going to send it to my competitors channel. And I'm going to say, let's do a little emoji, red light. Where's the little red light emoji? There it is. Uh, pricing update. And then I'm going to include the differences for this URL. OK, now I've fully built out my AI workflow. It's going to scrape the text from the pricing page. It's going to use AI to extract a summary of that pricing information. If there was no existing pricing summary, we're just going to put one in there. If there was an existing pricing summary, we're going to compare to see if it's the same as it was before. If it is, all good, no need to update anything. But if it's different, we're going to update the row with that new pricing information and send a Slack message to our competitors channel to alert us to that change. Now let's start a test run to see this working end-to-end. -end. I'm going to click Start a Test Run in the top middle. I'm going to select the row for Gumloop, and then I'm going to hit Create Test Run. After I hit Start Run, it's going to start trying to scrape the text from the Gumloop pricing page. This will take about 30 seconds. Next, it's using AI to extract a summary of the pricing information. And you can see that in this case, there was no existing pricing summary. So we made our own, and we updated the row. Let's go over to the spreadsheet to see what happened. Here is the detailed summary of Gumloop's pricing. It includes the free plan, the starter plan, the pro plan, and the enterprise plan. And this is quite a nice detailed summary. So now the last thing I'm going to do is go back to my workflow, turn this trigger on, it's going to run automatically once per month, just like I configured it. And it's going to keep me up to date if any competitors change their pricing. So give it a try and let me know what you think.